So we're working on the Toyota truck and we're working on the underside of the truck a lot to get steering linkages out just to fix the timing chain. We have to take a whole bunch of stuff out. Instead of using cardboard and uh, pillows, we bought this roller and I was actually going to make one of these and speaking of making something, right here in my hand, this is a part for my camera tripod and um, I lost this part and camera parts are expensive, something like this wouldn't be expensive but I just made it out of cutting it and grinding it down on my little tool grinder so I just made that, saved the day so let's go ahead and unbox this thing oh and if you were on the other side it's just the same um, it says 40 inch shop creeper with adjustable headrest so this could be I mean used for anything which is great you can also just chill in it I mean take a look pull it on out there it is it's very nice oh there it is ah. it's an early Christmas present alright so it'll come with foam on it um, Probably if this were a snap-on cart, it, this would be made out of gold or something. Gold encrusted foam. And uh, here's the cart. So, looks like there's... Oh, there's a piece of foam. That's what's holding it. There it is. Uh, the construction looks really nice. I don't hear any rattle. So it's probably made in China, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, well, it probably is. It's, in China, it's kind of expected that. Um, there's a little headrest here, so let's. I'm gonna go ahead and lay, lay down on it. Let's see. Uh, right to the headrest. I'm a. I'm actually a six foot one, so I'm pretty tall, and this thing is pretty nice. Um, anyone around my height or shorter, um, or taller, should be in this thing just fine. The headrest. That's as high as it goes. Um, there's a little lever here it appears and you pull on that or you let go of it and then it can be like this so and then you can just pull it up and the headrest up very convenient uh, construction like I said it's very nice it looks like uh, some sort of mild steel or um, galvanized or something the casters are really nice um, like I said there's no rattle if we shake the thing there's a well there's the smallest bit of rattle um, you can expect that on probably even a snap-on product. Um, let's flip it over. Okay, under here we see this assembly here. There, you see there's three positions. Um, can you see that? I don't know. There's, there's see those little rivet looking, or not rivets, but ripples. Um, that's those three positions. And uh, yeah, here's uh, Tech Correct. I don't get that name. <laughs> yeah, Made in China. Um, warning, this product contains chemicals known as the state of California could cause birth defects and other reproductive harm, including DEHP, a sulfate chemical. Okay, that's terrifying. Um, so yeah, don't eat this. Relatively low pickup truck. Um, it's not raised. Some of the other Toyotas are much higher, almost double, possibly about a foot off the ground so let's see how the thing goes under down okay good I can see you can see so right now the headrest is on its top position so I can roll around so roll this way and if you were wondering this car cost 40 bucks and I was actually gonna make one before out of some casters um, but my dad figured it probably cost around the same price and a lot of energy stop a lot of energy to uh, make it so the price isn't that bad I'm, at first I was like oh why'd you buy it I could make one I'm good at making it then I realized probably the materials will cost end up costing around the same much plus labor to make it is 
a little time consuming considering we have other things to do like work on this truck so let's go underneath so let's see I don't think I can go under the truck no I can't go under the truck with the headrest up um, oh it, it actually goes pretty high that's a, I, hang on let me stop my dogs they're chewing on a can no all right so headrest is down she likes it. <laughs> All right, stop. Go away. Oh, I ran over her foot. There, that'll that'll scare her. It just fits. Okay, so we're around in the middle section. Um, it's pretty high up. Let me see if there's an adjustment for the casters. You might actually have to jack the thing up, which isn't a big deal. Uh, most most of the time it would be jacked up. It's it actually is jacked up right now, but not that high. Um, so I would probably recommend, depending your vehicle, get away. Depending the vehicle you have, um, you might have to jack it up, or you might not. All right. So as you can see, my chin could easily hit one of these uh, frame. Um, so we can go. There's the transmission. And let's see, can we reach the transmission? Yeah, I would certainly recommend jacking this up. Um, it's a little disappointing. I wish it were could have an adjustment, but really it's probably going to just need to be jacked up anyway. It's just not a big deal. Um, let's see, can we go over here? Higher parts of the truck. Like over here, let's check. Let's check going out, out under the front. Alright, so now I'm not quite, I can't all, get all the way under due to some ledge on our garage, but from here you could probably get underneath, but like I said, just jack the thing up. So I would recommend this thing for the shop. It's a good addition. Uh, most people should have one. You could make one, and uh, certain things you should make, certain things it wouldn't hurt to just buy it pre-assembled. Um, especially, usually it comes down to the price and your time, and I have better things we have better things to do, which is work on the truck. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to try and do a video every week or so. Probably not, like, exactly a week, but I hopefully will be doing a, a video in about a week. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, please share the video. That would be great.